my name's Anne and I'm an illustrator and this is my next book. It's called Invisible Nature, it's written by Catherine Barr and published by Otterbury Books and illustrated by myself, Anne Wilson, and it's out in April this year. And it describes all the secret world beyond our senses that us as humans can't see. So how animals use um, invisible sights, uh, silent sounds, smells and mysterious forces in their daily lives to go about hunting and finding food, um, etc. And in a minute I'm going to show you how to draw one of these creatures from this book and it's a platypus. And here he is. Um, and he's a pretty amazing creature. He's a bit of a mix. He's got uh, a bill and web feet like a duck. He's got fur like an otter and a tail like a beaver. And it's this beak here that's pretty amazing. It's got over 40,000 senses in it. And they use this beak to go about hunting on the bottom of a riverbed, looking for creatures, for food. Um, and the way it works is through what's called electromagnetism. Um, and so he doesn't use any sights. He doesn't use his ears, he doesn't use his nose, he just uses his beak and this a mysterious force called electromagnetism to find his food. And in a minute I'll show you how to draw one. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the top of his head. So you want to do a little line. I'm using a thicker pen um, here just so you can see, but you can use a normal pen or a pencil or even paint if you like. So that's the top of his head, and then I'm just going to draw another line for his shoulders. And then what you want to do is a nice big line across for his back, and then he'll have his tail here. So his tail is like beaver's tail, so it's quite big. You want to do the top of his tail that goes out and round, and then it starts slightly thinner here and expands out as it joins back up on the end like so. Okay, so this is the end where his head is, so his beak's going to be there. So the top of his beak you want to do a little curve round and then underneath his head comes down like so. So I'll just extend that line a little bit further. You want to leave a gap for his front arm and then do his tummy which comes along here. Leave another gap for his back leg and then join up from behind the back leg to the base of the tail and that will be his body. So then you want to add his front leg and they're quite thin, comes around like so, and his back leg. Like so. I'm just going to change pens because that one is on its last legs. Okay, so he's got web feet, so he's got five toes and you want to join up each toe with webbing in between. So you want to make little curves like this. That's one, two, three, four and then five. And then to do the same on his back. But one, two, three, four, five, like so. And then we're going to put some claws on in a minute, but I'm going to use a smaller pen. So to do his bill, you want to start at the top here and come out, make a curve round so it's slightly wider at this end, and then join it up from the bottom, like so. And I'm just going to put a line across for some detail there. But he needs to see where he's going, so I'm just going to do at this point a little spot right there. Okay. Then I'm just going to do the legs on the back on his other side, which is a bit tricky, so you won't see all of the leg, they're going behind the body. So I'm just going to do a little line here and here for his front leg. And again, put some toes on. So one, two, three, four, 
thigh there and one on the other side for his back leg. So a line just coming out the top there and there and then join each toes up like so. So five of those. Okay, another pen change. This one should do it. And this is a much thinner pen, so I'm, I'm just doing some, a thinner pen for some smaller details. So the claws go on the end of each toe like so. And he needs those so that he can dig in the riverbed and also make burrows on the side of the river. So they go on the end of each of those toes that you've just drawn. And up the front. Okay. And then um, with my thin pen, I'm just going to do a line just above the spot we've done for his eye. Just thicken that up a bit. So that's, that's the basic shape. I'm also going to do some lines going down his bill. Because remember, there's a lot of sensors in his bill. Going to do some detail there and then the last thing to do is his fur so that keeps him warm in cold waters but what I'm going to do is lots of little lines like this all over starting from his head down to his tail and all of the lines are going to go in the direction of his fur so when I come and do some down his legs they'll be going in the direction of his legs like this and I'm going to keep going until he's covered. And there you have it. There's the duck bill platypus. And don't forget, you can cut him out, stick him on some backgrounds with there. Uh, you can do a riverbed background or um, a habitat. And you can colour his fur in, so he's brown, obviously, and um, then you can make a nice picture with him. Or you could just leave him like that.